Good night. All the ones out there. I actually felt like uh, it's been a while since I even did a YouTube clip and posted it up. So it actually feels like it, it was since the last moon. That's not the case. Um, as you can see in a while, the moon is shining and it's something special with, when it comes to All Hallows Eve and you actually see the moon. It might be because of the lichen tail or lichen lore that might make it something special. I know I've been talking about lichens or I think it's the Latin word for werewolf. Somehow it actually makes it even creepier in a way. All have no Eve. And uh, do you remember all about the All Hallows Eve tale? I've been talking about it both in English and Swedish. So I think I'm going to leave a description down below about the tale of Halloween, the lore behind it. It's actually a really creepy, really, I could say spine chilling and uh, really gutty. Since you actually need to uh, almost have a bucket so you can actually vomit in. It's a really gory story to summon someone called Sam Haynes, the epiphany of Halloween. When once you need three blood sacrifices on All Hallows Eve, Hallows Eve, by midnight. If you do that, you summon something, or resurrect I would say, something that both resurrect and summons every monster you've ever encountered in movies everything all at once just comes forth and does what uh, things like that really are best at slaughter mayhem <laughs> Bloodbath, destruction, apocalypse, the whole nine yard. What's in the box? Every sin, every horseman of the apocalypse. 
he actually brings back. Or summons. Resurrects or summons. Which in some cases might not actually be the best of things. If something like that would happen to me, uh, I would say like this. Oh, like you've come here with me. But don't rip my heart out. Only bit me or scratch me. I want to be one of you. Yeah. And then it might take a while to adjust to uh, being a lichen since they're strong, they're fast, and they're close to impossible to actually see when they move. They can actually move through reflective reflective surfaces in and out fast as hell <coughs> and they got some strength they punch through your chest plate like it was a piece of paper and chow down some shells down on your heart. If that ain't if that ain't gory, I don't know what. I mean, yeah. Here's a human. Here's his chest. Yoink. I took your heart by punching you through your chest plate and it tastes like strawberry, strawberry milkshake. And there is people that is actually transformed into this. And there's the pure blood that's born to be that way. Doesn't have any choice, just being born into a family of lichens. Which I think have its perks of being stronger than most lichens per se. Although, um, you can't be born a vampire as in those lovey-dovey Twilight Saga, you can't be born a vampire. They, they're practically shadows of a dead person. person. <laughs> That's what they are. Shadows of a dead person, and a dead person can't give birth to anything. Hey, what's that? Is that a KD? I think it is. Ah, it disappeared. I mean, vampire, dead person, dead person's shadow. That's why they can't actually live in the sunlight. They're shadows. Although they have the ability. To be corporeal. 
solid. That's not a plate, it's more automatically. Anyway, I'm actually a person that likes re reading about lore, re reading, <laughs> reading about a lot of things. Even I can actually read and learn just because. I think it's fun. I've read about mm, necrotic toxins, necrotic venoms, <sighs> nerve toxins and nerve venoms. I don't know why I actually read that. I find it very interesting. For instance, I think it's called Islet Camel Spider or Elephant Spider. They're huge and they have a poison that's necrotic, which means it kills tissue. <coughs> and seems in pretty much the entire body is made by tissue. <laughs> you don't want to be bit. You might actually have to amputate just to stop the spreading of the poison to your heart. Because those fans actually. <sighs> Penetrates, so it actually goes into the system, in the blood, so to say. And that ain't the most fun part of it. The gory one. Don't look that up. I've read about it. Besides watching the supernatural one, I've actually read about that. No fun. Like, subscribe, comment, and turn the post notification bell on so you can actually see upcoming content that I upload. And that being said, see ya.